What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Camtasia Recorder 9. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So this is Camtasia Recorder 9, it's sort of new, hasn't been out too long, but this is a screen recorder. So I'm going to be running through things on how to use this and you can get the full benefits of this program. So the first thing, these two little areas here. So select an area which means full screen or custom. So for example, if I select custom, this means I can move these boxes around and record a certain area. Now you'll notice, even though I'm trying to just drag out one way, this corner is moving as well. That is because the dimensions are locked. If I press this lock here, as you can see we have it unlocked. This way, I can now freely move it so I can position myself to record just this center text all here, just like that. Then this button here in the middle, it allows you to freely move around. If you press this button down here next to it, as you can see, this is the recent areas and this is actually the dimensions for my screen on my laptop. Here is just other screens you can use as well. Down here it says lock to application record. So if you're on an application, you'd select it and it would be locked to that and just record that. So any other program you opened up, it would not show on the recording. Then you also get select an area to record. Now this may be similar to this one here when you can just move it around, except this time when you select select an area to record, you're gonna get this. Now it may look a bit confusing, but it's really simple. As you can see, click to select the highlighted area, click and drag to select a region, and then S is to escape. At the top left, we have a zoom in, so it will help people out. And for example, I'm gonna draw out the exact same thing. So we have these red lines, which are gonna help us out. I'm gonna left click and drag. As you can see, it's telling us our pixels here as well. And I'm gonna let go, and it just lines it up like that. Moving over to recorded inputs, we have the webcam. So if I select this, it turns my webcam on. There I am, oh, why oh, I'm so red anyway. There's the webcam. Uh, as you can see, all I had to do was press it and the camera was turned on automatically. It tells me here, this is the camera. If it doesn't show up, come to options and it should be here. But these tools we will go over in a bit. So we have audio on. Now, if I select this, or actually before I do that, as you can see here, this is me talking because my microphone is already connected and this is how it's gonna display. So if I select this arrow, as you can see, this is my microphone, a Rode NT-USB. So it's selected here and it's picking it up. If I select this one, my microphone would not be picked up. And you can also turn off the microphone recording, but you can also record the system audio. There is a downside with recording system audio and I'll get into that after. So moving on to the effects tab, as you can see, it says use mouse click sounds. Now, when you left click or right click, a color would pop up. So you can choose if you want that. And then we have annotation. You can add a system stamp, which is basically a watermark, and you can add a caption, again, basically another watermark. And then we have the tools and we're going to head over to options. So as you can see, it says help show tooltips. You don't really need it unless you are new. It would be helpful. Warn me when recorder will be recorded. This is when they have that countdown. It's completely up to you if you have it on or not. Then we have capture, captured layered windows, capture keyboard input and disable screensaver during capture. Again, completely optional which ones you pick. And then we have the saving. Now you can record to and as you can see, we have a .trec, but we also have a .avi. Now, of course, most people would want to record in an AVI. However, if you are recording your system audio, you need to record in a .trec. This is the downside of it. If you're just going to record your microphone, an AVI will be totally fine, but you need to record a .trec if you want to record the system audio as well. And then once you finish recording in this format, you would then need to convert it using Camtasia Studio 9 and convert it to a WMV or an AVI or whatever you may pick. Coming over to the side, it says file options. As you can see, so when you finish recording, you can ask for a file name. So something will pop up and telling you to pick the name or you can have a fixed name and you can call something whatever you want to. So maybe you can call it YouTube video and then it will just create the name like that 
but you can also have an automatic file name which is going to be like this so it's going to be record and it's going to show the month the date it was the day it was recorded and the year it was recorded and then of course we have the output folder so if we select this button we can now choose where we want it so if i select the desktop and select ok as you can see the recordings will now be saved directly to the desktop so i can select ok with this moving on to import so the webcam right here as you can see we have camera frame rate so or capture frame rate so if i select this we can only go to 30 fps uh, i wouldn't even go below that so make sure you stay on 30. then the audio device again mine's a rode nt usb your microphone should be displayed here as well if it's not then i recommend uh installing it or updating the drivers record system audio again completely optional if you want that and then camera device this is where your camera should be or your webcam should be as you can see we can come over to device properties we can customize how it will look so i can put the brightness up so i actually need to select apply and then okay and then we should yeah there we go so as you can see it's not a uh, a live edit on the face cam for example with obs you can see it happening live so we can also bring the sharpness up which will help apply and okay as you can see that looks a bit better so you can mess around with these settings the ones i would say is bring the contrast up turn the brightness down and just a tiny bit and bring the sharpness up but if you want to change anything else it's completely optional the next things is format settings now remember all this bottom half here is for the webcam so if i select this as you can see it says stream format video format and the frame rate again is going to be at 30 fps if your webcam can handle 60 of course you can change it right here but it's completely optional and then the output size you can choose how big that face cam will be now moving on to hotkeys so this is when you can select a button on your keyboard and it will do the following things on here so the main ones i use or when i used to use camtasia when was record and pause i always kept it at f9 because it was so simple and it was just there i believe stop is f10 yes it is as you can see but if you want to change it you can come here and select any letter you want you can also add control shift and alt you don't have to add all three you can just add one and then maybe choose one from here completely optional again and if you mess up just select restore default the final one is program and this is what you'll get here so region appearance on the corners so you can have a rectangle or you can have it hidden it's optional now this will only show during your recordings right now you won't be able to see it this is just normal to be here but for example if i have corners checked it'll be from here to there and it'll just be maybe a green flashing or blinking and it just lets you know you're recording so it'll only show while you're recording but on the playback you won't be able to see it then the glowing capture rectangle again this is what i was just talking about force pop-up dialogues into region completely up to you if you want that force region to multiply of four improves quality so i'd recommend having that checked workflow record screen after starting capture that is what you want of course show a countdown before recording this is usually a three second countdown it's optional if you want that and then we have restore cursor location after pause hide preview window after recording is stopped and again these are optional things if you want them and then the final thing minimize minimize recorder if recorder will be recorded so that means right now if i selected record on camtasia this thing is going to be shown but it will be hidden in the taskbar before i even start recording so it's not on the screen so that's pretty good if you want that in case you might forget i've done it once or twice and then you can choose where it minimizes to so it can be the taskbar or the system tray but that is Camtasia as you can see turn off the audio just select it turn on the webcam just select it and it's that simple that is how you use Camtasia Studio 9 recorder and then of course if you don't want to record the microphone just select do not record microphone but if you want to record system audio record system audio and just like that you're good to go like i mentioned at the start of the video if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on twitter Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.